up YouTube land. It's your boy Eddie Hill, the Pennsylvanian toy collector himself. Eddie Hill in the house. And today is another day for review week. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. People of Pennsylvania and other parts of the world. And today, we have ourselves another figure from Transformers. And this is brand new from Transformers Netflix. I picked myself up my first Netflix Transformer. And it's my boy Bumblebee in his Volkswagen bug mode. And I love it. But we're looking at the box first. Some nice artwork of Netflix Bumblebee. Original series, Transformers, War for Cybertron Trinity, Autobot Bumblebee, some artwork of the other Transformers in the War for Cybertron Trilogy line, if you can make those out. The artwork, pretty good. Nice artwork. And a product shot of Bumblebee in his robot mode and car mode. But that's all there is to say for the packaging. Let's get on to looking at Bumblebee himself. And this is the exact same viewfinder as I had on my cliff jumper. So we're going to show that off. Cliff jumper next to Bumblebee. I misplaced the other parts of my viewfinder, so from Cliff. But here is Netflix Bumblebee next to Autobot Cliff Jumper. And this is a slight redeco of Cliff Jumper into Bumblebee using the same transformation design as Earthrise Cliff Jumper, just redecoed as Bumblebee and remolded as Bumblebee. So he's in his Volkswagen bug mode, and it looks pretty cool, if I do say so myself. For comparison, here he is next to Titan's Return Bumblebee. They look good together, if I do say so myself. And that's all there is to say for comparisons. And let's get down to transformation with Bumblebee. And you're going to see every step with this figure. First, disconnect the back of the car. Yeah. Disconnected it and I dropped Bumblebee on the ground. Sorry about that. Disconnect the wheel sections. If I can... Oh! Oh! Oh, I popped the wheel free. Oh, not good. I got to reconnect it and connect it. If you're not careful, you will pop up off parts if you're not careful. There's one leg. There's the other. Flip down. Flip down. And the lower body's coming along nicely. Flip up, just like Cliff Jumper. Rotate. Straighten out his feet. Fold this panel down, fold down the engine hood, oops, <laughs> I had another whoopsie moment, sorry about that, I guess today I'm having the case of whoopsie quite a bit today, rotate his arms like so to straighten them out, fold these panels in, and there we got Bumblebee almost all transformed. And he looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. And this part of Bumblebee becomes his shield. I'm going to have to get a tool to get his uh, shield part out. Come on. Sorry, a little bit of technical difficulties. I should really get that. 
Like on the box, he can use this as a shield or it becomes part of his backpack. But he can use the part of his car as a shield like with Earthrise Cliff Jumper. And he can use the viewfinder. Now, for comparison, what he's going to look like next to our boy Cliff Jumper. Which I've got Cliff Jumper pretty much memorized. Pretty good. Because he's the exact same transformation as Bumblebee. Alright. And we've almost got Cliff Jumper transformed. Almost. But I memorized Cliff Jumper very well. But Cliff Jumper's shield is more easier to get out than Bumblebee's. But here he is with his shield next to Bumblebee's. And they look good together, if I do say so myself. And they're at the exact scale with one another. But given I don't like the shield mode with these guys, I use these as their backpacks for their backs to cover their holy backs. There's what Cliff Jumpers looks like. And of course Bumblebee too. As soon as I connect it in. But there is Bumblebee in his good looking alt mode next to his wave mate Bumble Cliff Jumper from the Earthrise line, not Wavemate, Earthrise line. One correction moment today, and two whoopsie moments. <laughs> but now we're going to compare next Netflix Bumblebee with the past Bumblebee I have. And this one's from Titan's Return. And I've memorized this Bumblebee very well since I've had it for so long. But here is Titan's Return Bumblebee next to Earthrise Bumblebee. And they look good together. This one's more inspired by the G1 design. And this one ain't half bad either. But he is going to be on my shelf with Clip Jumper. The one I have here. But now, that's the end of the review. You're probably wondering... Where did I get Netflix Bumblebee when he's hard to find now? Well, I got mine from Still City Con here in Pennsylvania for 30 bucks, and he was worth it to finally pick up for my collection because he's better at being at scale with my Earthrise Cliff Jumper. And now I got Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper in my collection, and I love them. Maybe you could find this figure for a deal, maybe online if you were lucky to find it for a good price. I would highly recommend picking up Netflix Bumblebee to go with your Earthrise Bumblebee. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on and rock on and rock out.